Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. Uh, this is another one of my extra practice videos. This one is on section 2.2 matrix multiplication. I've got two extra example problems that I'd like to show you. Uh, and like any of my extra practice videos, I think it's a great idea to pause the video at the start of the problem, attempt to do it on your own, and then press play and watch the solution, or at least fast forward to the answer to check and see if you got it right, and then watch it if you need to watch it. Okay, here we go into the first problem. First thing we're gonna do with the matrix product is we're gonna check the size of the matrices. So this first matrix has three rows and two columns. This matrix has two rows and two columns. So I'm checking right here on the inner dimensions. Those numbers are the same. And because they're the same, we can proceed. We can do this product, right? So these are taken out and we're gonna use uh, the outer dimensions as the dimensions of our product. So our product is going to have three rows. So I'm gonna have row one, row two, and row three. I'm gonna have two columns, column one, column two, like so. So there's the size of my product. Now, let's go ahead and get the work set up here on these matrices. I like to label the rows, as you know. So there's my three rows. Here's my two columns. Uh, identifying the pieces over here that are gonna create all this uh, solution, that this product matrix. And I'll go ahead, I like the highlighters. If you like circling the numbers, go ahead and circle them. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and highlight rows over here. I'm gonna highlight columns on this one. All right, um, I am not gonna show the work for every single number, but let's go ahead and show some of it since this is still kind of an instructive video. Uh, let's do the first row and the first column, the number that's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna take the first number of each of these, so negative four and negative 10, which is gonna be positive 40, plus I'm gonna take the second number of the first row and the second number of the first column, multiply those and get 12. So this is going to be 52. Now let's do the first row, second column. So I'm gonna stay right here with these numbers, but now I'm gonna shift over to these numbers. So negative four and three is negative 12. And then two and negative five is negative 10. Those are gonna to add to negative 22, okay? Let's do another one. Let's do row two with column one. So I'm gonna take the first number zero times the first number negative 10, which is zero. I'm gonna do the second number seven times the second number six, which is 42, and I get 42. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just gonna give you the answers up here for the rest of it as I work through these. Here. Okay, so there should be our completed uh, matrix product. Okay, if you watched my full video on section 2.2 on matrix multiplication, uh, you would notice that we didn't do an example problem that looked like this. So this one's a little unique to something that I have shown on a video so far. Here we have matrix A and I'm asking you to find a squared. Now we know that a squared means take a times a. I wanna take the number times itself. So in terms of the matrix, I wanna do matrix a, which is two, three, three, five, times another matrix a, two, three, three, five. Now, the mistake that I see students make, and I'm gonna write it out for you because it's definitely not right. The mistake I see students make is they just take matrix A and they just square all these numbers because it says squared right there. And they would say four, nine, nine, 25. That 
It's not correct, okay? So please do not do that. That This is a product. It has to be treated like a matrix product, okay? So uh, with matrix products, we are checking size. This is a two by two. This is a two by two. Those inside numbers match. So our answer is going to be two by two. Okay, so we want two rows and two columns. And over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and circle them up to be faster. I'm gonna use rows and columns. Okay, so let's just do this all out loud verbally here. So first row, first column, two times two is four. And this is product is nine, so four plus nine is 13. Already see that that is not the same as just squaring the number. Uh, next, we'll stay in the top, move over to this. So that's going to be 6, that's going to be 15, and adding 6 and 15, we get 21. I'll shift down to the bottom row, 3, 5, with this column, that's going to be 6, that's going to be 15, that's another 21. And then here we're going to have 9 and 25 which is 34. Okay, so there's our matrix product when we're doing a matrix squared. Remember to take it times itself, go through the entire matrix product process, and you're gonna be just fine. If you found this video helpful, please support the channel by giving it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please direct them down below. I also have a math minute video on matrix multiplication. So if you search that up, you might find another example where I kind of break this down in detail one more time for you. Uh, that's all I've got for you in this video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one.